These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. I'm Faye Fredericks with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. ABC 15 confirming new details with police about a double shooting in Tempe. Officers say a man and a woman were shot near Southern and McClintock. Police tell us the victims are in serious condition. They're still investigating what led up to the gunfire. We've reached out to see if they are looking for any suspects. Men in critical condition after being shot overnight near 75th Avenue and Bethany Home Road. Police telling ABC 15 officers responded to reports of a large fight. They found the man shot. Another man tried to run off but was later caught and taken into custody. We're working to find out if he's a suspect in this case. John Eastman, a uh, one-time lawyer for former President Trump, pleading not guilty to participating in a conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election results here in Arizona. Grand jury handing up indictments last month, charging Eastman with and more than a dozen others uh, with attempting to overturn the 2020 election results. Eastman, the first defendant charged to appear in court. The others are scheduled to follow in the coming weeks. Former Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani also indicted, but Arizona prosecutors say they haven't been able to serve him with the indictment in this case. Our team at ABC 15 committed to making sure you stay informed about the fentanyl crisis in our state. Tonight, the Drug Enforcement Administration is hosting an event called Huddle Up Glendale. It's a community resource fair tackling substance abuse prevention. There'll be food trucks, raffles, and activities. We spoke to with the DEA on the importance of tonight's event and chatted with a former NFL star who will be there. He says that we lost over 110,000 people to overdose deaths and poisoning deaths as well. And we have to do something to turn this around. It's so important to be in the community and talk about this. We cannot over communicate on the topic of fentanyl because it is everywhere. One of the things that I've always been an advocate of is, is of education because you have to inform the public what they don't know. Right now, there are, um, there are lots of drugs being pushed down the streets, posing like candy. Innocent kids who don't understand or don't know what that means see someone come up and offer uh, something that looks like candy out and they, they get a poisoning. Now the event is happening from 4.30 to 8 at GESD System of Care near 75th Avenue in Bethany Home. This is a pilot event for the DEA. They want to do this in other cities across the U.S. Looking to the future, Goodyear, one of the fastest growing cities in the nation, is holding their all-male ballot election next week to update their general plan. The plan is updated every 10 years, and it's meant to lay out how the city will grow. Among the city's ideas, investing in major projects to widen roads, fix incomplete streets, and update traffic control systems. Bringing in more companies and businesses to the city are also goals. ABC 15 uh, listening to Goodyear neighbors to see what they'd like in their city. Among the main things we heard, more parks and recreation facilities and more policing to combat crime. You know, I have the application next door and um, it, it, it's always a, someone stole, you know, something from a car. Somebody broke into a house. So security is a big thing that we need here in Goodyear. You have until Tuesday to turn in your mail ballot. Uplifting Arizona, ABC 15 highlighting a program in Chandler, making it easy for neighbors to help neighbors in need of a helping hand with their yards. It's called Let's Pull Together, a program connecting volunteers with local seniors, adults with disabilities, veterans, and families facing hardships who are struggling to maintain their yards, many facing threats of fines if it's not taken care of soon. That's where these good Samaritans come in, trimming bushes, pulling weeds, even fixing sprinklers to make sure dozens of neighbors feel the love of their community. Just to know that people care about you, especially strangers that you've never even met, it just makes you feel like, you know, you're not in this alone no matter how tough life gets. The city receives lots of requests for help every year, which means they need a lot of volunteers to step up. We've put all the information you need to get involved or request help on our website at abc15.com. I'm Chief Meteorologist Amber Sellins. Things are heating up as we head into the weekend. 102 are high today. Tomorrow we're taking it up to 103. And although temperatures will drop a little bit on Sunday, the triple digits are sticking around through the weekend here in Phoenix. Also, you need to watch out for not only the heat, but the burn factor. The UV index will be very high. Only 15 minutes in the middle of the day to be outside before the sunburn sets in. High pressure building in. That's what's bringing the warmth. But as we head into next week, another area of low 
low pressure clipping by. Not a lot of moisture for Arizona with this, but maybe a slight chance of a few spotty showers up across the higher terrain on Monday. Our valley forecast stays dry, but winds pick up as that storm system approaches. So the next few days looking pretty breezy here in the valley. We'll also get some cooler air taking Phoenix down to 98 degrees by Monday and 95 on Tuesday. We'll spend the rest of next week in the mid to upper 90s with overnight lows in the upper 60s to low 70s.